I'm sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd not be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison, I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Wee taking on the King's Navy together. Just a pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Rackham, Touch, all the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside. I do. Devil curse me. I know my targets by sight well enough. But how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our bureaus and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for me. Quartermaster! What's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bonnie. Call it out. Way anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary and Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... Did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fella. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you, Edward. I've no worries about that. Well, that's good to hear. Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat. Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway. Hawkins Lane, Bristol.
Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Aye, Mr. Ferraro. Not a problem. Word going round, Rogers, is that you're comfortable friends with the Spaniard, Loriano Torres. Is that true? It is, I am proud to say. Torres was a governor too, and like me, had a firm commitment to seeing justice done. What, do I know you? Your lechery shames you, sir. You are Mr. Ferrara, I take it. I do adore your frippery. Such elegance and color. Excuse me. And how is Mrs. Rogers these days? I haven't the faintest idea, and I don't intend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago, and both our lives have been a better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left me. once how is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world you couldn't possibly understand my motives cretin 
You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage. Yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on Earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. <laughs> Here at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe. You! Stop! That man there! The Italian! He did it! Stand still. Just not recover. Dear you are. It's done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. did this? It were a large vessel. The Royal Fortune. Roberts. Offered no quarter. Didn't say nothing. 